Travel Tech 360 here. Today we're going to talk about how often you should change the propellers on a Mavic Air 2 drone. A lot of debate about this. I've asked a lot of people this and nobody can give you a straight answer. I asked one friend and he said when it falls out of the sky. He's used his a long time. That's not a good enough answer for me. I need something a little more direct. So we're going to check in with DJI and see what they recommend on their drone when to change the propellers. We're also going to show you where to look to find out how much time you have on your propellers. That way you'll know when to change them. Let's get into the intro, then we'll go into the video. If you like the video and you've not subscribed, please subscribe today. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Let's get into the intro and then we'll start the video. Okay, let's go ahead and open the DJI app. Down at the bottom we're going to see Profile. Click on Profile. This is going to bring up the hours, distance, and flights. We're looking at the flights being 151. DJI is requiring, uh, saying 200 flights to change the propellers. So this is where you'll find it in this DJI app. It'll also give you a breakdown here of your total distance, total flight time, and total flights, along with the distance, altitude, and the duration of the flight, how long you actually flew, and give you a map here to show you exactly at what date and where you actually flew. So you can reset this or you can just keep up with it and just to change it every 200. But it's 200 flights is what they're doing it. So they're not doing it by time, they're doing it by flights. So that's the answer to the magic question. <clears throat> Excuse me, how many flights? It's 200 flights for the Mavic Air 2. And when you're done, just close the app back out and that's all you need to do to find it. Okay, guys, so that's the information on when you need to change your propellers. Now, keep in mind, this is just for the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone. If you're running a Xeno or a different drone, check with your manufacturer and find out when they are recommending for you to change these out. Because, you know, even though you take care of your equipment, there are certain things on the drone that are going to wear out that you're going to have to change out. So it's really important that you know what the maintenance is that needs to be done on a drone. It's not as easy as flying, charging your batteries, and keeping it clean. There are certain things on the drone that we need to make sure that we do maintenance on to keep it up the way it needs to be so we don't have any issues where one day maybe it does fall out of the sky. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And we'll see you in the next video.